Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, few users have been asking me about uh, doing a video on Kubernetes liveness and readiness probes. I should have done this video long before, but um, I've kept postponing things. So now at least I've got a chance to do this. It's not going to be a big video. It's not a very massive topic. It's just quite simple and straightforward. So we've got liveness check and readiness check, right? So there is a basic difference between liveness and readiness check. So whenever you are deploying your uh, application as deployment or replica set, stateful set, um, you define your pod specification and you define your container specification and you say, um, we want to assume. So first let me, first let's look at the liveness, which means, so when is a pod healthy, right? So that's liveness check. So we can, I'll, I'll show you shortly how we can uh, test this. Uh, so liveness is uh, Kubernetes cluster will consider the pod healthy when it passes the liveness check. And uh, readiness is when the pod is ready to receive the traffic. So the pod can be live, the pod can be running, but it's not yet ready to receive the traffic. So when you create a service that serves these pods, um, that load balances these pods in the background, and only if it only if the pods are in the ready state then it will send the traffic to those pods so the service that you create in front of your pods will direct the traffic only to the pods that are in the ready state so you can um, create your own customized readiness check so depending on your application uh, you might want to include both liveness and readiness check so if the pod is not live if the pod is not healthy the cluster the kubelet component on that respective node will restart the uh, pod okay so that's what we will be testing in this video i've got my cluster ready kubectl version minus minus short version 1.17.0 by the way version 1.18.0 is uh, has been released but i'm still using 1.17.0 that doesn't matter kubectl get notes so i've got these notes if you look at the name of the notes kind control plane kind worker kind worker two so i'm using kubernetes in docker so if i do docker ps so all my worker nodes are docker containers i've done a separate video on uh, kubernetes in docker okay so we've got our cluster ready and what i'm going to do now is uh, write a simple uh, pod specification or write a simple deployment manifest uh, and then we can customize it add liveness check add readiness check and so on okay so instead of writing the manifest from scratch what we can do is we can um, do a dry run for example kubectl create deploy i'm creating a deployment let's call the deployment liveness probe minus minus image i'm going to use the busy box image minus o for output yaml i'm not deploying this in my cluster i'm just doing a dry run so that i can generate the yaml file so if i do that so that's the manifest that we need all right so it gives us a template to start with we don't have to write everything from scratch the same command redirect that to a file called livenessprobe.yaml so we've got that i'm going to open my code editor and let's make some changes so we don't need the creation timestamp let's delete that we don't need that strategy again we don't need this one we don't need status resources okay so we've got a basic template to start with so now we are going to add a liveness check all right so i'm going to customize this image uh, customize the command so i'm going to add an argument called args and command um okay so instead of command we don't need command here okay slash bin slash shell and minus c okay so when we start this container when we start this part it's going to run this command okay so all i'm going to run in this uh, container is a few commands touch hello i'm just creating a file sleep for let's say 20 seconds and then remove that file rm minus f hello and then sleep for 600 seconds so what it's going to do basically is when we deploy this uh, deployment in our kubernetes cluster it's going to download the busy box container and it's going to run this 
command all right so it first creates a file called hello and then no operation for 20 seconds and then it removes the file hello and then sleep for 600 seconds and then the pod will exit so that is good for our testing so we can run this uh, yaml file we can deploy this yaml file right now but we haven't added the liveness check so in order to do that under the container specification under the containers you have to add the liveness probe liveness probe pay careful attention to the indentation so it's under the image name arcs on the same level as the image name and so on so under the container specification we are adding the liveness probe for this particular container all right so liveness probe and there are different liveness probe uh, i'm going to use the exec one and i'm going to do command and let's say the command that we are going to run is cat hello all right right so um right so what we are doing here is we are doing a liveness check so the pod is considered healthy so once we deploy this manifest file the container the pod will be considered healthy only if this command returns a zero only if this commands return a success exit code so initially if you look at this command when we start this container we are creating the file hello so cat hello will work okay because we have created that file the file stays there for 20 seconds so our liveness check will pass for the first 20 seconds and then we are removing this file rm minus f hello so at that point after 20 seconds our liveness probe will fail because we've removed this file and then for the next 600 seconds uh, the container won't have the that hello file so when the cluster detects the liveness probe has been is failing then the kubelet will try to restart the container will restart the uh, pod because uh, the liveness probe is failing the liveness probe is the one that says whether the container is healthy whether the pod is healthy or not okay so i'm going to introduce you to another couple of commands under liveness probe one is initial delay seconds let's say initial delay seconds to be five and then period seconds let's set that to three so what these two options mean is initial delay seconds so when the container is started the first liveness check will happen after five seconds so we don't want to do the uh, liveness check um, immediately when the container starts we need to give some time for the container to start so initial delay second is the period after which only after which the first liveness check will happen and then period seconds is the liveness check happens at an interval of every three seconds all right so that's all we want so basically we started with this part here and then i customized the commands to run busy box i'm creating a file and then sleeping for 20 seconds and then removing that file sleeping for 600 seconds we added a liveness probe exec and the command we are executing is cat hello so if this command returns success then we can assume that our pod is healthy and uh, the cluster won't restart this pod and after 20 seconds uh, this command will fail because we removed the hello file at which point the cluster will assume that the pod is unhealthy and it will try to restart the pod and then the restarted pod will be healthy for 20 seconds and then it will fail again this is not an actual use case but it helps you understand how you can use liveness probe all right so let's save this and deploy it kubectl get all we don't have anything kubectl create minus f liveness probe dot yaml i've deployed that kubectl get all you can see here status is running so that's the pod one of one it's ready and it's running and restarts is zero but very soon you will see that it will keep restarting all right so if i do kubectl get events you can see here right from here yeah so the pod is scheduled and then it has pulled the busy box container and it has created the container it has started the container and successful create scaling the replica set to one container so that's all looking fine all right so for the first 20 seconds the liveness check will be okay and the pod is considered healthy 
let's take a look at it now kubectl get parts okay still it's running kubectl get parts kubectl get events okay now you can see here pulling pulled created started and now you can see here after 30 seconds warning unhealthy the part is unhealthy because liveness probe failed can't open the file hello so what it's doing is the container bc box liveness probe failed so it will be restarted all right so if i do kubectl get parts and now we can see number of restarts is one so it's going to keep restarting uh, because it thinks the part is unhealthy because that's how we designed our part all right kubectl get events unhealthy it kills the part and then it recreates the part so that's liveness check so now let's take a look at how we can uh, use the readiness probe all right so let's delete it kubectl delete deploy liveness probe kubectl get all okay that's getting terminated i'm going to open the same command again in code editor let's do a small change here so instead of liveness probe let's do a readiness probe readiness probe the same command initial delay seconds five that's fine uh, but i'm going to change the initial delay seconds to 20 for example because i need to show you uh, the state of the pod all right uh, the state here ready is one of one because the uh, pod is in the ready state but I want to show you uh, the pod will be running, but it won't be in the ready state. So that's why I'm um, adding an initial delay second of 20. So after 20 seconds, it will continuously check the readiness of the pod every three seconds. The readiness probe that we have defined is this one. I'm going to slightly change the command here. So instead of creating the file here, first, when we start the container, let's sleep for 20 seconds and then create the file create sorry touch hello and then sleep for 600 seconds so it's the same file um, when we start the container the container won't have uh, the hello file for the first 20 seconds um, so the readiness probe will fail and then um, after that uh, the hello file will be created and then the readiness probe readiness check will succeed and then the pod will be considered ready okay um sleep 20 let's change that to 30 now let's change this one to 15 seconds okay so save that and now let's deploy that kubectl create minus f but before that let's verify if everything has been terminated kubectl get all so that's all gone kubectl create minus f liveness probe i haven't changed the name of the file but that doesn't matter okay kubectl get all okay so now i'm going to do watch kubectl get all so now you can see here the container is actually running but it's not in the ready state because it's going to uh wait for the 15 seconds and then it does the readiness check so now still you can see here the pod is running but it's not in the ready state right now it's in the ready state cool so that's what i wanted to uh illustrate here so for the first 20 seconds the file hello won't be there so at which point the readiness check will fail and once the file is there the readiness check passes so when the readiness check is uh failing when you create a new service uh for this deployment it won't send any traffic to the parts that are not in the ready state. So that's the difference between the liveness check and the readiness check. So a real world use case would be if you're starting a web application, you might want to pull some code, um, web application code before you allow traffic into your pod. So you can define your readiness check. For example, um, you want to make sure certain files are there in your web application root directory. Uh, and you might also want to check if you're uh, container is listening on a particular port so once you're happy once it's listening on a particular port and your um, web files are there you might then want to allow the traffic in so in those cases you can use the readiness probe all right 
um, that's all I wanted to show you. If you want to look for more documentation, um, you can go to kubernetes.io. I'll put a link to this page in the video description. Configure liveness readiness check. So that's what we tried doing. And then uh, we used the exec command, execution of the command based on the result of the command executed. Uh, we assume whether the pod is healthy or not. There are a couple of other uh, options that you can use. One of them is HTTP request. You can do a HTTP GET request. For example, if you've got a web application, you can make sure um, if a particular path, particular URL is returning uh, a, a particular value, an expected value. If it's so, then you can assume your pod is ready and you can allow your service to direct the request to your pods. And here it says, uh, path port is 8080 you're doing the http get and the actual evaluation is here so on the response that we get uh, the name of the header is custom header and if the value of the header is awesome then we can assume that our pod is ready to receive traffic so that's uh, http get you can also use uh, tcp tcp socket if you want to make sure your application is listening on a particular traffic before allowing traffic you can do that TCP socket check. All right, cool. Um, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Let's delete our deployment here and have a go with um, the liveness probe and readiness probe. You might need it uh, for your custom applications that you deploy in your cluster. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to help. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.